What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. I got a comment on my video. They laughed at me and leasing old equipment. And the comment says, If old trucks are the shit, why are there so many gliders? Gliders or glider kits? Um, you gotta look at the comments, it's still down there. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, there's a whole reason why people do things. Um, and just because I agree with something doesn't mean that the next person is gonna agree with it and vice versa. So maybe, I, I mean, I, I really don't know. I can't answer. I don't have a glider and I don't have, for what I do, I don't need one. So that's a, that's a very open-ended question and that's my answer to you since you asked, asked me the question. Right. So, but instead of looking at the thing, let's look at the prof the, the, the process. And I think I mentioned that before. Now, let's say you have a trucking company. It's irrelevant what it is, what you do, everything like that. Let's say you have a trucking company and you have all these profits that you either you depreciate all your equipment, all your equipment and stuff that you bought. And, you know, you. At the end of the year, your fiscal year, whatever that number is, whatever that date is, you have to either pay taxes on that money or you have to buy new equipment or dump that money somewhere else. Hold on one second. This thing is... I guess I need to charge my battery. Um, or you need to dump that money somewhere else, right? So business owners, what they do is... Instead of paying taxes, they go out and buy stuff just to get the depreciation or um, they'll, they'll liquidate their money in something else just so they don't have to pay taxes on it, right? Now, I just gave you a big brisket sandwich. Call it a jam or jewel, whatever. Another example of this um, is when a uh, couple weeks... I think it was like last week, two weeks ago, whatever, when that Atlanta airport lost power and all that kind of stuff. And there's all these people there. Who came into the rescue? I believe it was on a Sunday. Chick-fil-A came in on to the rescue. So we're going to feed all these people. I think it was like two... I don't remember what the number was. I just remember reading the article. 200... I don't remember how many people it was. I don't remember. But they're going to feed all these people, right? So, oh, uh, this is, man, this is too good to tell y'all. This is too good, at least over here. But I'll go ahead and do it anyway. They're going to feed all these people. So let's just say it's, uh, there is a, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to give out a number because somebody, no, it wasn't that many. It was this. So, Let's say they fed, fed all these people, right? Now, when they fed these people, it was a charitable contribution, right? So whatever that price, whatever that number was on the retail side, you follow me? Whatever that number was on the retail side, that's how much they were able to write off. Because it's the end of the year, they had to dump some money. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and do this, right? They dumped the money, right? Now, do you think, if anybody ever worked in a restaurant business, you can't buy the food for the same price that you sell it at? <laughs> you follow me? So let's just say their, their cost was maybe 35%. So, they, so it cost them 35% to feed all these people of whatever you know that number was, that high gross number was, it, it was 35% right now they wrote off the the whole 100 percent. now it didn't cost them that whole 100 percent to feed all those people you follow me so when they show it on paper it was a hundred hundred percent tax deductible charitable contribution feeding all these people hopefully hopefully you follow me right now out of all that you may say, well, yeah, that's a nice gesture, man. And wow, that was that's nice for Chick-fil-A. Well, also, 
how many billions of dollars worth of advertising did Chick-fil-A get for whatever that number was that they just fed all those people? Do you see the value? See, people looking at the thing. I'm looking at the process. Do you see the value in that? So let's say it costs them maybe $16,000 to feed all those people, but yet they got millions and millions of dollars worth of national advertising. <laughs> Man, I'm just dropping stuff all over the place. Man, just falling out all over the place, right? So, that's one aspect of it. That's another aspect. That's, like I said, that's just, I just, I'm done. I'm done. I ain't making, I ain't, that's it. I'm done. I don't have nothing else to say. 